Hi guys, and welcome to this new tips and tricks episode. We're gonna talk about debugging again and how to use your debugger as a logger. Let's find out what that means. All right, so I'm in a random project which happens to be a spring project. That doesn't really matter. But what I try to do is I create a new data source here, which is my gateway to the database. And then down here, I try to read in a property from a properties file from someplace called spring data source UL and put it into the UL variable. Now imagine I want to know what value the UL variable has. So what I could do obviously is look at the properties file. If I don't know where that properties file is, I could put a breakpoint here, run the program or debug the program, break here and inspect the variable. I could also do stuff like if I had a logger, I could stuff like lo do stuff like logger debug and litter my code with these debug statements and print out the URL. But there's also a third way, which not a lot of developers know, because what you can do is you can click the breakpoint and then you see a checkbox here which says suspend. Suspend means your IDE will break and allow you to inspect the variables. But you can untick the checkbox, which makes a new window pop up. And there you have a couple of options, but I'm gonna only show you one in this trick. It's the evaluate and log option. Because down here, what you can do is actually say, let me close that again. You can access every variable inside that method. Like, let's try that again. So I could say, well, this is my database UL. Put a colon here, right? That is actually the colon. And plus UL. So UL is the variable we just declared. And that's pretty much it. You can put it any code you want, call methods, whatever you want to do. Hit done, then run the application. And now let's see what happens. You debug the application. You can see the program ran through with Xcode zero, so everything was fine. The idea, IDE actually didn't break, but what happened is that on the console you see printed out, this is my database URL, JDBC H2 mem. And that's exactly what we wanted without having to modify any code, but just saying here, please do not suspend, but instead evaluate and log. And as an exercise, you can have a look at the other options, find out what they do, stack trace, for example, breakpoint hit message, and all the other filters you see here. All right, I hope you learned something new today about debugging. And other than that, stay tuned for next week's trick.